Hi and welcome back. Now in the past lectures I have actually shown you how you can debug your website using the Google Chrome Developer Tools but Google Chrome Developer Tools is very powerful. You, you are not only limited to debugging your websites but you can also debug your hybrid applications and your mobile websites using Google Chrome Developer Tools and they provide you great set of tools to do that. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So in order to view a website in a mobile rendering mode or a mobile view, you have to click on this guy and then say more tools and then developer tools. All right. And you have already familiar with this. I'm just going to pull it at the bottom if that's okay. Here we go. All right. So we have already gone through some of the features of this Google Chrome Developer Tools toolbar. All right. And one of the things that you will notice is this small phone over here, small phone, right? And it says toggle device mode. Now, when you click on it, everything kind of switches and it turns into uh, like a mobile. So now if you refresh the page, this is how it will look like on a mobile device. Okay. Okay, let me just go ahead and actually pop it out. Oh, that's taking too much space. All right. So this is how it will look like on a mobile device. Now, if I go to some other website, let's say I go to yahoo.com. So it's going to show, since it's in a rendering mode for the mobile device, it, it's going to show me how this will, the website will show if you visit the website on your browser using a mobile device or on a mobile device. So this is how it will show. Now, if you want to get out of this rendering mode, then basically you just have to click this guy again and now you're out. All right. And then of course, refresh it. So this is how it will look like on the, on the desktop browser. Okay. Once again, you can turn it on by clicking this uh, toggle device mode, small phone, and then don't forget to refresh it. And there we go. So this is basically your device uh, mode for the website. All right. Now it has a bunch of really cool things. It has device. So right now I've selected iPhone 6, but you can select many different kinds of devices and it will uh, try its best to emulate or simulate those devices. Uh, so I can say Galaxy, let's say S4. And now I can go ahead and refresh it. Basically, it will set the screen width and the screen resolutions and all these kind of things. All right. I can also go ahead and say iPad, this guy. And you can see now the device looks much bigger. And the iPad view of the Yahoo website is a little bit different than the desktop website. That's also one thing to note. So let's go ahead and switch to iPhone 6, refresh. Of course, you can also see that how the website will look on a mobile device when you are in the landscape position. So if you do landscape, it will look kind of like this. All right. And then you can say to default. One of the important thing when testing mobile websites or mobile anything is basically the network speed. All right. You cannot really assume that the person will always have a very high quality of network speed of 40 LTE or uh, 40 LTE or even 3G or 2G or these kind of things. So you have you, you, you have the capability of testing that if the user has a good connection versus having a bad connection. So if you say that, okay, this guy has a 3G, okay, I want to see how fast my website on a mobile device loads on a 3G then basically you select the network speed at 3G and you can refresh the page and it will show you how it will load on a 3G device or on a 3G network. All right. Now a person can be on GPRS, which means that it is very, very poor connectivity. And if you refresh the page, you can actually see that it is really, really slow. I don't think it's even going to process the complete thing. Uh, during this lecture, I guess, but it's a GPRS at 50 kbs per second, of course, and it's very, very slow. Okay, so if you want to uh, basically take certain steps when the when the 
network speed is very, very slow, you can actually throttle the speed using the network tab. All right. Um, and that's literally, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's very easy to uh, emulate different mobile websites and see what is going on. And you can, you can have a lot of devices over here. If you do, you can actually also uh, create a model if you like. Uh, and then you can also test out different portraits and all that, that kind of stuff. And you can throttle the speeds. Now in the next, um, in the next lecture, I'm going to show you that how you can do remote debugging, which will allow you to use your physical device, physical Android device, and whatever website you're viewing in the Chrome browser on the physical Android device, you will be able to see the result on your Google Chrome Developer Tools on your desktop. So that will be really exciting, so stay tuned for that. Thank you very much.